arriving one after the other. Dinghy boats form a steady line as they approach the coast of Lampedusa after a journey across the Mediterranean Sea. The island is the first port of call for many people fleeing from northern Africa as they attempt to make their way further into Europe. But the tiny Isle is overwhelmed by recent arrivals. Over the course of 24 hours, around 6,800 migrants disembarked from 120 boats. That's a few hundred people more than Lampedusa's full-time population. We had um, a big increase of the arrivals of migrants this summer. We are more or less with the numbers we had in 2016, which was an exceptional year. What seems to be a bit different is that now we uh, we do have a different government, more uh, right-wing, uh, more anti-migration. Georgia Maloney had made curbing immigration a centerpiece of her election campaign one year ago, previously calling for a physical blockade to prevent boats from leaving African shores. And as migrants head further north into Europe, leaders are pressuring Maloney to respect EU asylum rules. Germany says it will no longer voluntarily accept refugees coming from Italy. Out of over 12,400 takeover requests to Italy this year, 10 transfers have taken place. So for now, we will no longer be sending our teams to Italy to conduct interviews. Italian authorities say its reception centres are overcrowded and that part of the reason for the increase was a bottleneck in Tunisia's ports, where smugglers were prevented from launching boats for several days because of the rough seas. For now, in an attempt to ease overcrowding, hundreds of migrants are being transferred to Sicily.